Good morning, and welcome to Healing Community Trauma. Hi, my name is Cecilia Shaw from Miami, Florida, and I'm here today because I'm interested in giving back in any situation where there's a disaster or trauma. AWB training is an integral part of the organization's mission. It prepares acupuncturists and other healthcare professionals to help prevent and resolve trauma that can occur when people experience natural disasters and human conflict. The training starts with an introduction to AWB and the organization's work with disaster relief in the United States, community service clinics for veterans, active military and their families, as well as other groups within the U.S. who have experienced trauma, and disaster relief and training for healthcare workers internationally. And that's another criteria for AWB that we don't want to just come in and provide some quick fix and then leave, that we want to create sustainability in whatever we do. The training includes heart math for working with groups, how to run a mobile field clinic, an overview of protocols used for trauma and pain, including the National Acupuncture Detoxification Association's five-point auricular treatment, Colonel Richard Niemsau's battlefield acupuncture, Elaine Duncan's 12 points for restoration and balance approach being implemented at the DC Veterans Administration, neurobiology of trauma, setting up a disaster relief effort in the United States or abroad, how to create an ongoing community service clinic, group dynamics, outreach, how to work with agencies in your area, and much more. The kind of trauma we're talking about is where there's psychophysical effect that can be lifelong or chronic. And that's not to say it can't be treated, but we're really talking about brain changes, um, neurological changes, hormonal changes that are very different than being in a stressed situation. The training includes an extensive field practicum. So the training was a lot of fun and it really exceeded any expectation I had. <laughs> Your last name again? You can't even focus on what I'm saying. First choice would be really uh, Adams on Andrews Avenue in January. The Plato Sculpture Contest models whole brain learning and having fun as an important self-care and leadership technique. It's gonna be harder than both of these, oh my gosh. One thing we'd like to offer you in terms of increasing the possibility for a group work, a group cooperation is to look at it through the five element lens. Each group's gonna identify a location and a disaster. So, so, so get it rolling and let her play as she goes along. It was so informative and really worthwhile and very useful and something I'll be using in my everyday life and practice. Have a safe trip back. <laughs>